Our adventure starts with a flight from Manila to Pasco, the capital of Batanes. Being a group of islands in the northernmost part of the Philippines, Batanes can only be visited by people through a domestic flight. I was ecstatic because I had never been to Batanes and my wife surprised me with this trip as a gift for my 50th birthday. It was also her idea that I use this opportunity to do moto vlog features of the historic churches in this province. So this is the guest house where I'm staying and it's called Katuvang. There you go. And it's located in Amboy Street near the municipal hall. It's a really really quaint and very nice guest house and it's colored white and blue. Reminds me of uh, the guest houses in um, or it reminds me of the houses in the Mediterranean or even in southern France. So let me show this to you. Ayan. There you go. Hi, Kuya Mike. Hello. Hello, that's the owner. So, uh, this is the hut. And here's their house. And I, I really love this garden right here. It's a very cute garden. Maybe I'll ask the owner to say something a bit about say something about this house because he told me a while ago that this is actually an ancestral home. And by the way. Uh, it's really a small world because there his uh, relative is a co-worker of mine and uh, that co-worker of mine, that friend of mine actually gave them this painting. They're also neighbors by the way and this person right here is uh, supposed to be the dad of my friend at work. So <laughs> a really really small world. I actually stepped out for a bit to, to visit the house of that friend of mine. Of course, he's not here. He's in Manila and uh, it was also a nice house. So this here is the sort of like the dining area or the main hall. So yeah, this is the guest house where I'm staying in Batanes. It's in Basco, the capital of Batanes. And I really recommend uh, this guest house. And the reason why I recommend this guest house is that um, the owners, 
they, they, they live here, I believe, and they, they personally take care of you. And the second thing is that it's a very, very clean place. I really love it. It's very quaint, very quaint and very close to, to uh, the city center, near the municipal hall, near a park. It's also near uh, Santo Domingo Church or the Immaculate Conception Parish. So, so it's, it's in a very ideal location. And this is where we're staying, room one. So I'm here at the office of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources to apply for a permit to fly my drone in Batanes. So every time you go here, you just can fly your drone anywhere, anytime. You need to apply for a permit and uh, pay the required fee. So that's what I'm doing now and I think it's, it's well worth it. It's well worth it. So uh, I'm just waiting for the cashier to come and for them to give me the receipt. Salamat po! Okay, we finally got my permit. Fly the drone. There you go. And we're ready to go. So I'd like to dedicate this church feature to a good friend of mine. Her name is Sister Lei. She's currently facing a difficult challenge and she asked for some prayers. If you'd like me to include some of your intentions in my next church features, please feel free to send me a private message in Facebook and I'll be more than happy to include them uh, in, my, in, in my next features. So just, just feel free to reach out to me. Okay, so I'm looking forward to the rest of this day and uh, I'll try my best to show you as much as I can the beauty of this province. Catch you on the road guys. Okay folks, I'm now on my way to meet the Ibatan riders. Hello po! San po kayo? In Ibatan? Yes, oh. The first Ivatan rider I met was Wilson Wazu. It was his Husqvarna 401 that I used to ride around Batanes. At the time I filmed this feature, the local government of Batanes had strict rules for visiting riders. I first had to write a request to the governor and I needed to ride with a group. And so the Ivatan riders gladly agreed to show me around. I also needed a special permission to vlog about the historic churches in this province. Hey guys, I'm with the Ivatan Riders. Let me introduce them. Kayo po si? Anki. Hello. Anki. Shout out to Anki. Kayo? Manco. 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 Wazu. <laughs> Wazu and Charlie. Charlie. It's time to hit the road. Our first stop is Pasco Cathedral because it is very close to our meetup point. Basco Cathedral is canonically named as the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception and is commonly known as the Santo Domingo de Guzman Parish Church. It is the first church to be built in Batanes. It was first built of cogon and wood upon the arrival of the Dominican Fathers in 1783. Due to frequent typhoons and fires, as with other structures in Batanes, the church was subsequently built of stone combined with lime and sand in 1795. It was burned and reconstructed at around 1860 to 1863 and was refurbished in 1950. The church was badly damaged by an earthquake in July 2000 and so it was rebuilt in its original form in 2011.
To the left of the church's entrance is the original bell that was first rung during the first Holy Mass celebrated in Basco in 1783. It was taken down when new bells from Holland were installed at the Belfry in March 2018. I know you're tired, I see it in your eyes All that anxiety that rules your mind I'll be your shield when you don't feel like you've got strength enough to fight I'll stand by your side I will carry you Through your darkest night When you're terrified I will carry you When the waters rise When your hope runs dry Don't have to hide the parts of you that ache I choose you as you are a million times Cause I am not ashamed of you I won't walk away from you Now, as you move from the sanctuary to the, to the rear of the church, before you reach the exit, if you look right, you will see here a reliquarium. It's basically a collection of relics of various saints. It's a massive collection, quite impressive. And uh, here is a special place dedicated to Blessed Rolando Rivi. Contains his relic. So this speaks about Blessed Rolando Rivi. So mm, the fact that he's called Blessed means that he's on the way to sainthood. It's time to hit the road again. Our next stop for this episode is Pasco Lighthouse. It was built quite recently in 2003, but it stands on the site where the first lighthouse of Pasco was built, which was also the site of the old telegraph facility used during the American period. So apparently, it's the birthday today of the owner of this uh, bed and breakfast. His name is Kuya Mike, and he has a little party going on here, so I'll make the most out of it. Good evening, pa. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Happy birthday, Kuya Mike! Thank you, thank you! Glad taon na kayo? Huwag na lang! Huwag na lang! Baka... Di pa ako bigyan ng beer. Yan! Salamat po! Cheers! Cheers!